this this is over here on the right side might be a good idea to plug it in jack where you been gully where you been i've been hustling i've been hustling gully, where you been gully where you been i've been hustling i've been hustling bars all right let's get it let's get it popping over here let's pop just joshing <laughs> you hit a motherfucking zoom. That motherfucker sound good, don't it? Hey. Let's go. And yeah, we in here. We in here. We made it. In a moment of silence, nigga, we made it. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Gully Jack here. I know it's been so long since y'all done heard a scene from me, but we back and we going in full effect for the whole rest of 2021. The productivity is going to be on the rise because as you see right here, your boy just made a pickup today. New investments, new investments, new investments. Yes, sir. The MacBook. Air M1 bag is secure, so we about to unbox this. I'm gonna let y'all know what it's like, and I'm gonna let y'all know what I plan on doing with it. So let's get right into it. All right, so I can't even stop smiling. Like I'm so excited right now to, to get into this, to get to unboxing it. This is just on peel. I'm the kid in the candy store right now. Looks like it is. You get the slide up. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. So light, there it is, my new baby. The new investment. I can already see the money returning. All money in, no money out, you already know. That's all I can say. Ain't no fingerprints on it. See my face there. The way you look good. And then you can see that it's just Tom face. Got the little charger in there. A little booklet designed by Apple in California. Then you got the charging block. Scratches, no scuffs on it. And on the back here, we got eight gig, eight gigabytes of unified memory, 256 gigabytes SSD, 13 inch. And this is the M1 and this new M1 chip. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. I spent the whole day reviewing yesterday on the laptop, the best laptop out there for around a thousand dollars so this was the one that i came up with i needed something really lightweight and something that i could keep on the go um, right now i'm in the studio to the left of me over here is the desktop computer that i've used been using my productivity has been going like down like crazy since my ipad broke probably a couple of months ago, I've been doing a lot of my work on my iPad. And since the screen cracked, I hadn't been using it as much. And the shop's been suffering because of that. So I've been knowing that with that, along with shout out to the homie Matt, he's been telling me like, 
yo, you got any new clothes coming, any new clothes dropping? And I've been kind of pushing off doing graphic design and designing any new merch, but I am glad to say that 2021 is going to be a great year as long as I can live through to see it. I'm going to be delivering some new merch for y'all. So y'all got to stay tuned for that. For those of y'all that do know and have been following me on a personal level, been following my Facebook page or my Instagram, you might know that I started a clothing line in late 2018. I started talking about it early 2018 throughout the year and in late 18, 2018, I launched it November 1st. It was called Love Always Wins Brand. This hoodie that I'm wearing right now is a hoodie that's from there. This jacket right here, I painted. Um, I kind of designed clothes, have dibbled and dabbled in it in the past, but I launched the brand Love Always Wins November 1st, 2018. Later that month, I went down to South Carolina to have vacation, spend Thanksgiving with my family and ended up finding out that my dad was in the hospital. He had been suffering from cancer and he had taken a turn for the worse. So he never, after he got admitted, he never returned home from that. So from November to right around this time, which is February, he died February 15th of 2019, two years ago. So it's just an incredible, experience that I've went through the past two years. I went through the ups and downs of feeling like I just wanted to give up. I didn't have any motivation, any drive, but I just didn't give up. I knew I couldn't give up. I had a daughter depending on me and I had to keep going. I had to keep striving for better. And I know that the way that my dad left me, I wasn't happy with it as, as, at the time, but I knew that I needed to grow and get past it and learn that he did the best with what he had. And that's one thing that I wanna make sure that my following knows and gets from me that do the best that you can with what you have, you know what I'm saying? You might not be blessed with everything that the next person might have, or you might have more than the next person has, don't look at the next person's struggles or accomplishments and look at it like you can't ever have that or you're better than somebody or vice versa because life can change and in the blink of an eye like that. Like I didn't know where I was going to be at two years ago to be sitting right here with a closet full of my dream shoes um, right across from me is some of my dream clothes. I've just been really grateful to make it this far. And I just wanna share that with everybody watching my journey that just don't give up. Um, one of my biggest influences, I know y'all might hear me talk about it a lot, Nipsey Hussle, one of my biggest influences, um, definitely installed into me put all money into your dreams, no money out. Always invest into your dreams. If you have a goal or you feel like you wanna do something in life, put your money where your mouth is. Don't just sit there and talk about what you're gonna do, what you're gonna accomplish in life. Put your money into it, put your dollars into it. You know what I'm saying? We're in a war right now, an economic war, and every dollar that you have is a bullet. Use your bullets wisely, you know what I'm saying? I don't advocate violence against nobody, but I wanna see all my people win. I wanna see all my people striving to do better. Um, but enough of that, talking about that. What I wanna talk about before I open this laptop up is a very important thing because today is February 19th, 2021. 
I want to make it very clear and set my intention and put this into the universe today. One big part of this laptop and me getting this was me deciding that I was ready to make a career change and a career switch. I wanted to get serious. I know that if I work hard enough, God will place a opportunity in my life that I won't have to be working at a 48 hour a week job because I don't like spending not enough time with my family. Um, whenever I get drowned out with work, it's easily for me to get stressed out, get into a habit of coming home, falling asleep, and I don't like that. I want to have enough time for my family. Right now in life, that's the most valuable asset that I have. With this career switch that I'm planning to make, I'm planning on becoming a software engineer. I'm going to become a software engineer. I'm going to teach myself how to code. And today is day one of the journey. I've already began learning a little bit of HTML. I've dabbled and dabbled with learning code in the past, but I never was serious about it or set a clear intention on it. So today I'm setting that intention and this is the beginning of my new life, so to speak. Three months of hard work and dedicating my time and energy to this could potentially change the future of not only my life, but those around me. These skills that I am going to pick up and learn, I plan to share with those around me and those who are interested in watching this journey. So if you've enjoyed watching this, stick along, enjoy the ride, leave a comment, let me know where you're from, join the tribe. It's going to be a fun journey. Uh, I look forward to growing with y'all and let's go. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. There, you can see you got a little piece of paper on there. Let's suck it off. Turn it this way. Mm -hmm. I see no power button. I guess that's it over here on the right side. Might be a good idea to plug it in, Jack. Where you been, gully? Where you been? I been hustling. I been hustling. Gully, where you been, gully? Where you been? I been hustling. I been hustling. All right. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it popping over here. Let's pop. Damn, we just happened. Just joshing. Hit a motherfucking zoom. That motherfucker sound good, don't it? Hey. Let's go. English. Let's go ahead and set baby up. Boy, I can't stop smiling. This is going to be good. All right. Continue. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. Yeah, if you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the escape key. I don't know that shit, bro. No, we ain't going to do that right now. Alright, let's go ahead and get that on now. Yes, sir. How can I be? We're gonna create a new one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now 
who you thought it was. Yeah, I just trash and try to die. Yeah, you made me laugh. Baby, you can be in this. I used to have the alphabet. This keyboard is hard. I ain't gonna sit here and cap to y'all like this keyboard. It's got some good snap to it, especially this trackpad right here. Compared to my old MacBook Pro from from 2020-12. Dang. Email address. Let's go ahead and create a new Apple ID. We on what, what's gonna be the move? Programming, coding, to a technology company. Let's call it Gunga Technology. Here, terms and conditions, we won't agree to this. What's y'all's favorite shoes over here, though? Y'all ain't let me know. Let me know something. Let me know what y'all see over here. Setting up the iCloud account. Hey, it's lit. Color technology for iCloud, the App Store, and other Apple services. The features and settings below will be set up for you. Say less. All right, so we got the little touch ID. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Use a fingerprint to unlock it now. So I already set the touch ID up. It basically, it makes you keep lifting your hand up and down, up, down, and like different angles until it gets your fingerprint good. It's nice. So we gonna set that up later. Choose your look. We are gonna go with the light look. Continue. True tone display. Let's see without true tone display. We in here, we in here, we made it. In a moment of silence, nigga, we made it. I'm gonna let this charge up for a good little bit, 33 minutes until fully charged. So I'm close it up. And we gonna come back to that later, but I'm really excited, y'all. Let's go. I don't even know really what to say, but uh, let's get started. If you've enjoyed watching this unboxing, um, me talking about why I got it in the first place, and you interested in sticking around to watch the journey, watch the channel grow. I look forward to seeing you here. So see y'all on the next video. Peace, love, and thank God it's a new day.